Thieves are changing tactics when it comes to breaking into homes. And they're using some uh, pretty simple tactics. News 8's Sally Reed on the scene in Greenwich to tell us what's going on in some neighborhoods and how you can keep your family safe. Second floor break-ins are rare, but police say they are happening and happening more times than they would like to see here in Lower Fairfield County. In fact, one of them almost happened right here in this neighborhood, but someone was inside the home and scared off the burglars. Police say this should serve as a warning for residents. In the attempted break-in on Round Hill Road in Greenwich last night, police say the suspects tried to break into the home through the second-story balcony. They say house break-ins are on the rise in Fairfield County and that neighbors should be looking out for one another's properties. The use of lighting, um, you know, when you do go away for vacation, you have somebody check on the house, they remove your mail. Uh, usually an occupied house is something that burglars don't want to deal with. They suggest keeping windows and doors on every floor locked, activating your alarm system, keeping lights on a timer, and having a neighbor or friend pick up your newspaper and mail to make sure your house appears occupied. And police say they'd much rather you call 911 if you think you see something suspicious, even if it turns out to be nothing. We love coming out for false alarms. Uh, prefer to come out for a false alarm than the real thing. So if you see something suspicious, um, suspicious call us. It appears suspects are targeting homes with easy access to the Merritt Parkway or 95. In fact, this neighborhood right here where the burglary attempt occurred last night, it's just one mile away from the Merritt Parkway. Reporting on the scene in Greenwich, Allie Reed, News 8.